I'll tell you what. That wasn't entertaining. The Flyers fall 5-1 to to the Montreal Canadiens. Carter Hart gets yanked once again. Now that's back-to-back games where he gets yanked. Is it completely his fault? Absolutely not. The Flyers as a whole just played terrible, especially early, allowing players to just go from the neutral zone right into your zone and move the puck so quickly with ease, it's ridiculous. The first one, they literally go through our neutral zone and through three players just like that, pass it over, bang in the back of the net, Gallagher scores his first of his hat trick. Then Travis Sanheim, two minutes later, I don't know what the hell he was doing, pinching, trying to go fishing with his stick. Another another play, and, and bang, just like that, it's 2 nothing within a couple minutes of the hockey game. A slow start from this team. Not just Carter Hart. Now, the first one, could he have gotten a, a piece of it? Maybe. The second one, I'm not going to blame him. And the third one was just so weird. It was so freaky. He's hugging the post. The, the, the hockey gods found a way for it to kind of slide in on him. He was there, though. He was hugging the post. His glove was over. I, I don't know how the hell that squeaked in, and, and it did. And it was just bad luck. And at that point, Gordon makes the call. You, you have to... You have to pull him there, and it's a shame. Now, it's back-to-back games for him. We've seen Carter Hart be at the elite level that we thought he would, and now we've seen Carter Hart on back-to-back nights play like this, but that's part of it, okay? He's 20 years old. That's part of the learning curve. It's totally going to happen. You're going to have to ride the ups and downs with the kid, and I'm totally okay with it, absolutely. People want to criticize. He's playing too many games. Well, last game, he played 10 minutes and got yanked, so he really didn't even play that game, and tonight, he played... A couple minutes as well and got yanked again. So does that consider is that considered playing a game? Because in my opinion, it's not. Has he been playing a little bit more lately than he ever did? Yes, and I'm okay with it because he's 20 years old. But you know, at this point, there's a confidence thing that's that's affecting him, and and maybe he takes the squat down, which sucks. About it is the fact that. You have the outdoor game coming up, so I'm curious to see how that's going to play out on Saturday, whether it is even going to happen or not because of the rain. But the real stinker in this one is understanding our 8% playoff hopes that were alive before this hockey game. And, um, you know, a team like the Montreal Canadiens that are above us here in the standings, I've mentioned this for a few videos now, but all these games are four-point swings. And, and taking an L like this, it, it blows my mind. To not be prepared to play a game once again on another game, knowing how big these points really are and knowing what's at stake, to not be ready to play and to have two crucial, really bad plays as a team within the first five minutes of the hockey game, I, I don't understand. I don't understand. The third goal, you can yell at Carter Hart. You can say it was fluky. I, I'm leaning on the fluky side. It was just insane. He was clearly hugging the post, and it was just the hockey gods not on our side for that third goal. We have to throw in Elliott. And Gallagher ends up getting a hattie. The, the Habs were all over us. We couldn't push back. It's like when it was 3 nothing. we were trying to find a way to score three goals on one shot. We were forcing things, trying to get back into this game, and, and you, you obviously can't do that. You can't score a three-pointer in the NHL. That would be cool. You can't do it. And the Flyers were chasing, 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 chasing. The game got away from them. And and that's just what it was. Just disappointing. Disappointing because this team, you know, they, they, they had a chance to make some noise during this stretch. Now, they still play the Penguins, the Sabres, and I get all that, but... You know, I've, I've said this. They would have had to keep an extreme run together of, of 20 wins in 24 games type thing and have Columbus lose, Montreal lose, Buffalo lose, Penguins lose a ton of games. The chances for this playoff run were so slim, so slim, and now they're even slimmer. You can't even see the gap in between my finger and thumb. It's that bad. It's that bad. It's that low. Now, at this point, I'm looking at, okay, how are we going to approach the Carter Hart thing on top of the trade deadline, right? I'm, I'm all on board to start sending people out of here. I'm all on board. So, we'll see what Chuck has lined up, but uh, Carter Hart's huge. 
for me and, and how we finish this back stretch of the season. How well he plays. Is he going to get back on a little bit of a hot streak? Are we going to sit him a little bit more? Uh, my eyes are solely set on Carter Hart moving forward here to just see how he approaches the game. Now we brought Cam Talbot in. He's finally here. He was talking about it in between periods about the visa and all that. Now he's finally here. And him and Carter Hart are boys. They train together in the summers. They skate a lot. And uh, he's, like, he's like his mentor. So we traded Anthony Stolarz for this guy. Hopefully it works out. Uh, Carter is, is a young goalie. He's very raw right now, especially emotionally. He was talking in the locker room and saying, you know, this doesn't feel great right now. This doesn't feel great. I've just got pulled in back-to-back -back games. So hopefully someone like Talbot can step in and, and kind of just show him and tell him it's going to be okay. You're going to go through ups and downs. You're 20 years old, and that's just reality of it. You, you expect the kid to come in. We, we were stunned to see the spurts of greatness that we saw. I was in favor of maybe it was a little, maybe we keep him down because it was too soon to bring him up, but he's shown us spurts of greatness and eliteness, and he showed us spurts of, okay, he should have saved that one. Okay, he let in three goals early, but like I said, uh, the first one he should have saved, technically the third one he should have saved, but that was just a weird, fluky goal goal in my opinion because you look at the replay he didn't move and and he was hugging the post and technicality wise could he have been in, in a little bit better position maybe maybe but you know I, I'm not going to sit here and crush the kid this is part of it this is part of the journey this is part of his journey he's going to have to experience these highs and lows and and be able to control his emotions and and really build from this it's a character builder and and I'm proud of him for what he's done so far and I want him to learn from this there's going to be times where this is going to happen I want him to learn from this so people want to complain that maybe we shouldn't play him here and there. I, you, you don't want to crush his confidence because God forbid he goes out there again and allows three early goals and gets pulled again. You don't want to crush him to that extent. But do you want to hold him out of a, of a stadium series game or do you want to see what the kid has against the Penguins? I, it's a tough call. It's a tough call. I'm glad I'm not making that decision. But as a team game, defensively, what the hell? A wide open guys in the slot. They're turning around to Tar gets a gets a, a shot off in the slot with nobody even close to him. Uh, you know, the, the, like I said, Travis Sanheim going fishing for that second goal. How how uh, I forget which Canadian it was on on the first goal that made the initial pass, but how he got open and and skated through four Flyers players in the neutral zone. I just couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. It was a joke. It's bush league, and the team wasn't prepared to play. You had Robert Haig in this game, a scary moment. I can't believe it wasn't as, as bad as it was. The puck gets deflected a couple different times and actually catches him over the eye underneath the shield. He started bleeding, but he got right up and skated. Oh, that's a scary-ass moment. I'll be honest with you. That was one of the scariest things. I wore a visor back in my prime, and uh, luckily the only time he ever got rocked in the face was actually in a practice in small games. I got a high stick to the to the mat. That thing, just it shocks the hell out of your face, and your face just goes numb, and... You know, if it's bad enough, you you black out. Luckily, it wasn't to that point. But I couldn't imagine an NHL clapper literally rocking you in the face. Thankfully, he is okay. So at the end of the day, we sit here. We take a look at this game. We were not prepared. Carter Hart on back-to-back on -back nights gets yanked. That's a, that's a huge storyline, obviously. But another big storyline was just this team coming out flat, not ready to play, not ready to be prepared. You have Gordon switching up the lines all over the place again. Raffle playing with Giroux. And just all these line mix-ups, um, trying to get something going. We end up netting one to make it 5-1. to one. Carey Price had a phenomenal hockey game, of course. And clearly the hat trick was a storyline as well for the Canadians, but we end up do getting on the board, uh, taking a look at who, who got the stats on that goal for the Flyers, not that it matters. Raffle ends up netting one, and Ghost and, and Konechny end up getting the apples on that 28-26-7 um, and seven for the Philadelphia Flyers. Playoff hopes are slowly, slowly going from 8% to 6% to 5% to it's almost literally in, impossible, sadly. But we, we got these, let's see how the Penguins and Sabres game go, I guess. And, and from there, we can really make the assessment on what can actually happen. But just taking a look at the Blue Jackets and all these other teams and the teams that are just in, in that last wild card spot are just in a different spot than us right now, sadly. Let me know your thoughts below on Carter Hart. I want to know what you think we should do about him. Do we let him play the stadium series game? Are we playing him too much? Do you think it, those goals were all his fault? Are you upset with the way that we started out? Hopefully the answer is yes, because you should be. 
Or does that make us bad fans? I don't know. Uh, if you see my Phillies rant, you would understand what I'm saying. Does that make us bad fans if we're upset with the way that we started? I don't think so. I think that means we care. 5-1. to one. Canadians get the win. Gallagher gets the Hattie. Carey Price played pretty well tonight, of course. And the Flyers' playoff hopes slowly, slowly, slowly continue to go down. What are you going to do? Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.